everyone. Welcome to Learning Curve Acres. Just wanted to do a quick update. It's been a while since we discussed what's going on here in the garden. First, I'm going to show you what I find one of the most exciting things, and that's the Rosa Ragosa that is blooming here. This is a three-year-old rose that was started from seed. It was planted in the ground in the fall, the, the seeds. I put in the entire um, rose hip that had been collected after a frost. It was allowed to get really gross and mushy. Then I popped it into the ground here and it's doing well. After the success from that, I went ahead and I've planted more over here in the corner. I've got some more over here as well. But that's one thing that I'm super excited about. We do have a few glads coming up as well as I've put in my ho my um, hollyhocks. Now this is the second time I've had to plant hollyhocks. I had some going last year, but unfortunately the chickens uh, this spring dug them all up. So I've got two over here and then three over here by the, uh, by the fence. And then we have a few other plants. We've got my trumpet vine finally coming back that I had purchased several years ago and then my dog ripped it out, dug it out. And that's what's coming back just from a, from a, um, small piece of root that was actually left alive. So over here we have planted up the dahlias. So I have no idea what color those two are, but the others I was smart enough when they bloomed to put a piece of ribbon on. This one had had actually quite a large dahlia on it, uh, quite a large plant, but unfortunately the stalk broke off when I was plant, uh, pulling it out of the pot. But there is new ones coming up. So that'll be purple. And then we have this beautiful burgundy one that has opened up for us today. Over here we've also got what's becoming more of the herb garden. So we've got oregano, sage, rosemary, and winter savory. And then I just plopped some dill in over here between the lilies that are going to bloom soon and one of the strawberry plants. The rose has been fighting to bloom but the, unfortunately these worms and caterpillars are not being very nice and playing fair. <laughs> um, but the bee balm for the tea is up, which is great. So as soon as the flowers start to come up, we'll be harvesting a bunch of those as well. So over here we also have the Kent Blue. Now I did two pots of Kent Blue Peas. These ones, now because they're a little past their prime, they've gone more of a pinky color. Though I find this year they seem to have come out more of a plum color, even when they're quite fresh. But these are the, these are the seeds that I saved from the two peas that germinated for me last year. And then these over here are the ones that came from Bill and Val from England. And I'm absolutely loving them. I think they're looking amazing. And so I should have tons of seeds from these, which I'm really happy about. And then I'm trying sweet peas this year. I've tried them before. I've never had any luck with them but I'm going to give it a shot again. More in the flower gardens. We've got the cosmos. We have miniature daily lilies that are just about to come out and some more lilies back here. Those ones I believe will come out white. The irises are done for the year. 
The lupins are almost done. But, let's see. And there's the fish pond. Can we see fishy? Or is she going to be shy? Might be able to see her there. Anyways, I just love having the goldfish pond out here. Now let's go see what's happening with the vegetables. All right, so here we have the raised bed with what my husband and I refer to affectionately as the cluck and stoppin, the old bed frame from our daughter's day bed. Um, we've got several, we've got three different types of lettuce coming in here. A couple have gone to seed. We've removed some already. Um, but we have prize head, which is this brownish red one. We have Dutch brown and we have romaine. And then we also have some spinach, some Swiss chard, and tatsoi that's gone absolutely crazy in here. We do have the two tomato plants that were by the front windows this winter. Um, the storm we had a couple, a uh, few days ago, really wreaked havoc on them and snapped the stems, but they are still producing their fruit, so we're just going to let them keep doing their thing. Now in this pot I have the bumblebee, purple bumblebee tomatoes that were sent to me by Mary Curry, not Mary Curry, Marie Curry, good grief. I'm sorry Marie. Um, Anyways, we have these. I had lots come up, but unfortunately I had an issue with them dampening off. So these are the two that survived. So I'm excited to see what they're going to be like. Another thing that didn't want to really propagate for me this year, for whatever reason, were my marigolds. So I only have the one. But I've put them in here in this garden with the zucchinis and yellow squash. We have the Deseronto potato beans, and then we also have cabbage, and one lonely little cilantro plant. Um, again, I had a really rough time getting those started and getting them to stay alive. So now we're at the spaghetti squash bed, and we actually have... Let's see if we can get down and see it. We have one spaghetti squash already started to grow, which is really nice. This is our absolute favorite. If I had to have only one squash in my life, this would be it. And we don't cook it the normal way where people try to make it so that it looks like spaghetti. We slice it in one and a half inch pieces, core, like take out the seeds, take off the skin, and bake it with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. And it is just amazing. We had the pongo beans sent to us from Bill and Val as well. I think I've got seven left. I had gotten them all started about a cu uh, two to three inches tall, put them in here, and then they just, for whatever reason, they don't like me. They died off. And I've been trying to baby them because I know they're not, um, they're not a bean that's indigenous to this area. They did, these seeds were sent to me from England. So I've been trying to be nice to them, but hopefully we'll get some seeds off the ones that we do have and we'll be able to grow some next year. Here we have more Deseronto potato beans. They've come up in spades this year. So I'm glad about that. And then behind that, we also have peas, the sugar snap peas, which I was really late at getting them in. But worst comes to worst, at least I've got some fodder for the rabbits, which is good. I just got to get these sumac out of there. And then we have our cucumber um, pickling cukes here. We have Amish to paste tomatoes, some uh, carnival, um, different sweet peppers from 
we have both Mr. Father and Girls on this side and the burpees of the same idea on the other side with our um, Ferris wheel tomatoes in the center. And that center batch just kind of went wild and I'm not fighting it. I won't. We have our uh, sugar ahi sugar rush peach. I'll just come around here. They're loving the dry hot weather we've had. They're absolutely loving it. In fact, it looks like I've got one that has even dried on the plant itself. So I'll pick that off in a minute. But they're doing quite well. We've already had a few off of them. And I've actually been able to share some of them with friends as well. And then up there we have the kale that was in the window all winter. As well as yellow paste or no white currant tomatoes and we're almost done i promise we're almost done the garlic looks like it's almost ready to be pulled out i've never had it ready this this early in the year but i'll take it because then i can get more stuff into here and then i do have a few sunflower seeds that took off in the back i don't even remember what types I put in so we'll both be surprised when they bloom if they bloom all right so last but not least are the walking onions and our aronia berries um, only one of the aronia berries actually um, uh, bloomed and set fruit this year I don't know why, but I'm thinking part of it may have to do with, <clears throat> pardon me, with the ridiculous gypsy moth infestation we've got right now. And we did have tulips around here, which I showed in some pictures. We have one out of several uh, poppies that I started. Only one has survived, but we do have a few zinnias still lurking around so hopefully we'll have some some pretty color in, back here throughout the throughout the uh, summer but that's going to be it for right now and I just wanted to thank everyone who's uh, subscribed recently I've got some wonderful new subscribers thank you so much I also have to thank all of those who've been subscribed for a while now as also, your support really means a lot, and I do appreciate it. But I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Take care, and we'll see you soon.